Alright, platoon brief, platoon brief. Kill one, Give me cops, mine. Hey, uninstall, you should go with your squad, dude. Come. Yeah, what are you doing? Getting there, sorry, sorry. Rasta, get to the end of the lead, end of the line. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Welcome to Operation Mistwalker. Uh, this is an infantry only operation. Assets for both teams are two ARs, two medics per squad. Our objective is to reach the fob marker on the map currently and defend and hold it until mission complete. For this operation, we're going to be pushing the south bridges. Bridges must be crossed for infantry. Okay, do not cross the water. We're doing this with an overwhelming base of fire to start. Squads 1 and Squad 4 will be assaulting the bridges themselves, but not immediately, only after we have fire superiority. This might be within the first 30 seconds, this might be after a minute, okay? So 1 and 4 are going to be crossing accordingly. 1 crossing the lower bridge, 4 crossing train bridge. As that's happening, 2 is going to be on the mortar mark, suppressing anything on the west side of the river. At that same time, Squad 3 is going to be in the rocket mark, helping Squad uh, 2 with suppression, as well as watching the north and the east. After suppression has been established and we have fire superiority, squads 1 and squads 4 will cross the bridge's strong point on the opposite side of the bridge on the hill marked with the secondary fob marker. Once they have control over that area, we'll send squad 2 across and squads will look at as... I'm going to send you a message on Discord. Yeah, copy that, Samba. After these are uh, after these squads are in place we'll set on line to push into the village keeping squad three digit squad on base of fire on the south side of the river from bit digits position command will be integrated with digit uh, digit squad will be engaging the target suppressing you'll either use that south bend as we did in the previous operations as such or you will push on line Okay, from south uh, east to or some from southwest to northeast. Okay. Depending on what the si situation looks like. Yeah, no, I wasn't talking. Is everyone clear with this plan? Yeah. Yep. Anyone have any rocking sure. questions? Do I get to go back to America if we win? God has visual on the enemy. Uh, they're settling up there. They are ready to ambush us. Squad 2, squad 3, push the ambush, uh, push the overwatch positions now. Squad 2 said. Yes, they are holding up at the cliff on the other side of the bridge. Taking shots. Squad 2, squad two taking going shots. Going north. West. All right, change of plans. Two, north one, north. three. Two, one. Th you are engaging. Squad four, cross train now. Oh. That's too far. Copy. Copy. All right, Alpha on. Spread, spread, spread out, spread out a little bit. People know what's up. The battle is on. As you can easily tell here by the exchange of fire. Oh, this is just a storm of bullets right now being traded on side to side. So one militia squad is crossing the uh, train bridge. They should be under a lot of fire now as well. There's uh, Russian forces pretty much everywhere. They're hard to spot here. In the current weather, lots of fog. Bad lighting as well. Oh, look at the man taking the lead over there. Is that the squad leader? No, that's just a rifleman. He's going for it. A lot of militia covering him, though, as well. So I do believe we've got more guns uh, on this side currently firing at the enemy than they have at us, so to speak. Uh, they do have one squad maneuvering around, though, that might be flanking. But so far, these militiamen are actually going to be able to cross the bridge without taking any casualties. And I... Oh, but they're taking fire now. Ooh, just as they're getting to the end of the railroad bridge. But they've somehow avoided any other fire. I'm not entirely sure how. Are they hard to spot? Could be, but they're also receiving a lot of covering fire. Yeah, we're prepared to push. We're ready to move now. Start one, push. Three. Oh, they're two, getting gunned one, down here. Oh, it's nasty. Probably they might almost try and just jump all off squads, the bridge. All squads, check ammunition up. 
RPGs and uh, grenade launchers being used. Mainly grenade launchers. And hand grenades. That one's gonna land right next to him. Could be a little Man, below. We're gonna get fucked up down over this bridge. I got eyes on this, uh, this whole top. There's at least two looking down on it. If you don't think you can make it, pull back up. Copy. Um, I'm gonna cross the fire. Ooh, they did get some uh, kills over here, though. That, that's two Russians dead. Good for the militiamen trying to cross, but uh, let's look at survivors here. And, uh, well, there's uh, one magically or <laughs> miraculously alive on the bridge. He's trying to stay down and uh, quiet uh, in order to not be spotted and shot. He's in a very bad position. There's a two, start pushing down few the other Over survivors the below, small, but small, uh, small push, uh, small bridge. We've, got, we've got another squad pushing over now. As you know, their objective is to get to the actual FOB. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where it's placed, but the Russians are there to prevent them from doing so. Uh, once they get to that FOB, they'll defend it against uh, the Russian uh, attack. Yeah, three, you're gonna hold your pause. Overwatch is two and uh, one cross the bridge. That was just half of that squad crossing. The rest is uh, providing a base of fire here on the other side of this, this land bridge. Well, not a land bridge, but a, uh, a, a bridge meant for vehicle and, and foot mobiles. Not a train bridge, so. Are we taking the train bridge or the small one? Small bridge, small bridge. Yeah. Still a few Russians back there. One squad that's split up into two fire fire teams to get a wider combat with, so to speak. Uh, and they're going to be putting some fire on the, the soldiers crossing right now, but. Uh, the one Russian squad flanking is is currently not involved in action at all. They they might think some of Karmakut's forces are flanking, or that they're trying to cross here the river. Uh, Two across the bridge, three on over. Oh damn! There's a lot going on right now. More firepower here on the militia side than we uh, would suspect. Um, but they're trying to get their forces over. That is their goal. And if they can cross now without this Russian squad being involved. It'll serve them greatly, but once these guys realize that Karmakut isn't actually flanking across the, the river itself, the shallows here... I'm gonna um, need more suppression than that! They'll, um... Yeah, we're, we're, we're fucked up on this hill. They'll just uh, come in from the flank, and that might be very bad for for the, the attack and militia, so to speak. Let's see what's going on here. Things so are about to get very close. Try and catch as much of that intense action as Spot possible. Combat photography, man. I do. I love photography. I, I, I love photography. How could you not? This shit is intense, man. Oh, ho, ho. Boy, can you get some good screenshots in, in squad. Alright, let's enable that uh, all squads, all squads, so we're silhouette again. Ooh, we're things direct. are about to get tense here. All right, gentlemen, we are pushing direct Ooh, right in the neck. Some Russians on the right side, though, will be firing on this side of the, the railroad, and that might uh, prove uh, deadly for the, the people flanking here. I think the left side should be safer from fire. But then again, there Three, are those Russian squads over there. there. Hand grenades too. In this situation, deadly. Absolutely deadly. But uh, I do believe many of the Russians defending here used a lot of theirs on the, the attackers crossing the bridge here. So they're going to leave one guy to cover the side here. And essentially this whole squad w while attacking the, the Russians up on that height. Uh, they're essentially very, very uh, open to enemy fire now. But uh, this one hero, this one soldier, oh it's an AR too so... He's gonna be able to put a lot of fire on target, a lot of fire, and he might he might even uh, give them something tougher to chew on than, than the rest of that squad. We'll see. He knows what he's doing. He knows the the uh, the importance of his task because right now this squad is pretty much just in the open for the Russians back there to shoot at. So yeah, I think they need more covering fire. One casualty so far. The rest are just staying down. Yeah, oh, but they're gonna be dropping more now. Guys, um, my squad's drawing uh, pressure right here on the, from this hill. If 
this guy can get around the flank, that's just such a golden uh, opportunity as well. He knows they're up here. I don't think the Russians are suspecting the flank. We'll see who's quickest here. I think that something tells me that... Ooh. Oh, he looked away. Oh, oh, he'll get the drop on him. There we go. And, and I always... I had always... Uh, yeah, yeah, try and meet up with us. We're... We're the first best the target to shoot at, take it. Actually, Don't try and wait and move up and, and try and get shoot, more. Because every second you waste, you're more likely to die. Or that they'll turn around and magically or get you. Uh, we're there. Ooh, we damn. This area here. They're doing good. Copy. They're doing good. Let's start trying to make our way to the objective, I'd say. Like, I don't know command squad really still haven't crossed? No, that's squad 3. Command squad has still, crossed. Like, actually, that, uh, command is dead. Kamakut is KIA. How do you know? Well, because you're not right, constantly hearing our, his voice. Uh, <laughs> no offense. I, I do, yeah, one, do prefer to hear his uh, command. One's command, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's start trying to get to this objective. I'll wait for it three to cross you. Oh, hand grenades being thrown. Oh, jeez, that's a good one. Almost got him. I thought it was heading the other way. Yeah, it was fires ceased, thrown from the top. I don't know how many more up bottom, there. but... Uh, then again, there is that one squad flanking around so hard. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they suspect? Why would why would they split forces? Like why would the militia go their their ways to do that? Like I feel like what they're doing here is 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 smarter for the militia hey, uh, to bring more firepower up like this. That's a KIA as well. So right now this side is pretty clear of militia forces. There's just about a half a dozen of uh, of ground Russian yeah, ground yeah, forces. Yeah, we're trying to get behind these guys. We got soldiers, so to speak, firing at the uh, the attacking militia. Well, I'm all alone. Oh, they're they're under a lot of fire now. But this squad is moving up. Although I'd say they're a little too bunched. Oh boy. It's so much harder to spot the enemies uh, without the silhouettes on or without the contours. Like, it's very, very hard. The outline, so to speak. Call it silhouettes, probably. Look. Look how much harder it is. At a still, you'd, you'd have a hard time seeing them. Unless they're moving. Ooh. Hey, since I'm alone, I'll go see if they're even at the objective. Yeah, that sounds good. We're we're pinned down on this side. I'll have to keep the silhouettes on, we otherwise uh, I won't be able to to tell what's happening. Uh, where where are you p being pinned down from? We can try from to liberate you. From our southwest. From our southwest. Shit. You want Squad Two to rendezvous with you? Try to deal with those guys. Uh, try and move direct west and, and shoot down on them from the south. We got Squad Two over here. I don't Copy. think there's anybody on the objective. Squad we'll One in this direction, there. I believe, and Squad Three and Four back there or uh, to whatever extent we do have one squad leader solo alone down there uh he should be connected with i believe that's like squad three and four mixed i'm not entirely sure how they've done this but um when crossing a lot of the squads were uh were uh, chopped up so to speak and uh essentially a little disorganized after when crossing like it's hard to Get a get a good foothold on the other side of a crossing like that. That's always the the most the hardest bit to do when crossing like this is to actually establish yourself on the other side and make sure you have a safe uh, safe back or a safe uh, foothold where you're not going to be constantly Three, under fire. And they've yeah. sort of Can established that right now, but uh, oh, he got away with it. Can you can you see the objective at all? There's still a lot of hand grenades. This is a uh, five on three situation down here. A lot of trees. Oh, and now they're flanking around. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Thanks. these militiamen are surrounded here by the rocks. Oh, now there's two squad lead down. So the two men remaining here, as the Russians are, while well, starting to to uh, get organized and group up. Oh, dude. Oh, that's nice. You gotta wait for the enemy. Wait for the enemy. Oh, dude. They're doing it. Oh, dude. No, you're getting shot at. You're gonna get. Cut down in the back. Oh, he, he even shot at his friend. Obviously very shocked. And, ooh, the bodies do that sometimes. They get a little funny. But that's the end of the militia presence on that side. They're here. But uh, this squad is pretty well established on this side. They've only got uh, about one soldier to deal with. This guy's dead. So one lone fighter over here. 
And then we've got a six-man squad over on that side. But the next battle is, uh, yeah, is going on over here. Guys here at least. Copy. Uh, try to do your best bridging, Joseph Squad 2. Try and clear out the mountain if you Interesting. can. If not, disengage and move up towards the objective. This one person is uh, doing the whole uh, covering bit. It's, he's the AR, of course, as well, so he can put down most fire. So he's he's going to have to act the whole squad. They'll all focus on him while the rest of the actual squad is flanking around. Do we have any eyes this way? Yeah, of course. These guys are root, uh, on a routine basis here. Uh, yeah, he can spot him. He should have been able to spot them. But I don't think they're going to open up yet. He's talking in local to a squad leader, saying they're moving around. They're going to wait for a better opportunity instead of scaring them away now. You'd want to get them closer and probably out in the open. If I were them, I'd like tell everyone to look away, not come here, and then as soon as they're crossing yeah, they're the water, taking shots at me. then move up and open up. Uh, Bridget, just try to keep him busy. Try to stay alive. Now these guys are going to move in with that squad and they're going to hit up that old fort together. So that's four men remaining. And that's about it. Well, I wonder if the Russians here have realized that they've kind of cleared out this side. There's Still parts of the fire team on this Squad side that have been there for the throughout the entire round. They're going to be Squad moving up right now as well. On your side. Yeah, well, that uh, AR is uh, starting the uh, the distractive maneuver with the uh, suppressing fire. Did he kill someone? I do believe he did. So there's seven soldiers defending the, uh, the, the the small bunker section here. Very formidable position. We have five men attacking from this side and uh, six from this side. Although they might be down to five uh, now. Two and four are being heavily engaged yes, they have this taken, side. taken uh, casualties. Try to, help, try to make a push for it. But if they can defeat the center position and survive, the numbers will be pretty even. Um, this could be something. It certainly could. It's been a very intense game so far. Very simple, straightforward game, but uh, great nonetheless. Ooh, what do we got in here? He sees him. Ooh! Are you gonna shoot, boy? What position now? You gonna shoot? No. Dude, dude! Anything in there? <laughs> I don't think he's been able to shoot them. Uh, two streets around here. I do love that AK. Keep distracting this fire out of them. Yeah, I'm just regaining him. Oh, he's gonna smoke? Why? Now he's gonna make his position known. Dude, don't smoke. Single fire, single fire. I'd have that, I'd have that, uh... Oh, this is so... So interesting now. What do we got? You need to spare it. One person went to the left there. The other guy's laying down to the open right. So it's a good spread. They got a good spread. They got the idea right. So... Uh, but once these guys arrive, oh, they're working against time here. They gotta know that they're 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 coming up behind them. They gotta know. They should have at least one guy looking back. Oh, this is so tricky. I I I mean, I'm really feeling for the militia here, mostly because I'm overhearing their comms. But I'm hit. Sound a medic. Yeah, right. Next to you. Oh, oh dude. I got enough. No, I got enough. I'm feeling the militia kind of ambience here. With the Russian ground forces moving up and just ordinary drill tactics and just knocking them, knocking them out. Oh, poor rebels. But um, they got one. This guy's gonna run in. He's gonna run into a heap of wor world of hurt. Or he might. Yeah, he is. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Big old burst to the chest, and he's down. Uh, we do have two people outside, though. So now he knows there's someone in here, right? Uh, and this guy knows they're coming from behind. So very tense situation. I think I'd want to abandon these guys for a second and look at the, uh, the the remaining five men crossing down there. Did this guy get close? Or is he dead? Ooh. Grenade. This guy's dead. I think that was the AR gunner. Yeah, he's dead. He's shot dead. Hmm. And they're taking pics at the uh, the five men moving around. Are they still trying to get to their objective? I'm not sure. I heard about them going to a fob and then defending it, but I'm not sure where that is. That should be marked somewhere, but I could be wrong. Who knows? 
The men here are still holding. Oh, this guy's gonna come under fire. You know when it, when that happens and you're in the open like that, like you're just gonna panic. Sometimes you don't really know what to do, but he's gonna run for cover. And he's gonna stay there for a while. Oh, there's just shooting everywhere. He knows he's surrounded. I've played a lot of squad. I mean, obviously, I've been spectating for the last couple of rounds and whatnot. But having played so much squad previously, I can I can relate to every single situation that these guys are in. And what it really makes you feel, despite it being a video game, it there it is. It's scary at times. It can be frightening, stressful, and there's a hell of a lot of adrenaline. Otherwise, uh, people wouldn't be coming back for the experience as much as they are. So that's very cool. Did they take a casualty over there, or are they spreading out their squad? They did lose a man over there. Right behind that little uh, hill. Oh, no, I thought he I thought he dropped dead. But the rest of this squad is moving around. That's the, the remnants here. That's squad three and whatever they have left. And then there's two men here alive. Nope, that guy's dead. KIA. Like, it, it ends so quickly. And then we just have this dude in the open. Literally, legitimately in the open. This could have, been, could have been the AR gunner from the right there. But I think it's most likely the corpse back here. That was him. This was one of the four. Yeah, this is one of the four that came from behind. So what do we got? We got him up there. But he's from here, he's fairly safe. I mean, he's very hidden. But from his front, well, not equally safe. It's so hard to see the enemy. Look, all the... Trees and foliage and all that stuff, and the flora. Incredibly difficult. And the uniforms really blend in here. Which is, I guess, the purpose. Yeah. He's given this whole squad a lot of trouble. They're not very well spread out, so... A, a good AR burst could, uh... Or salvo, or... Spray, almost, could, could chop down a few, especially if he's prone. And we'll get some uh, some good recoil control. Oh yes, he certainly will. But uh, we'll see what he resorts to. This squad might try and flank around to assist him, and then to ultimately hit these Russians. If they can get a jump on them and get some good accurate fire, then four men can easily take out not uh, double that number. And that's about what we're looking at here. We're looking at nine Russians on this side. Uh, Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in total versus 5. So 15 versus 5. I could imagine worse combacks. I mean, it's totally possible, but in this game, unless you're a really skilled player, you're not going to account for for more than one, an eye for an eye. So, like, you, you stand about 50% chance of killing the enemy and then being 50% chance of being killed by the enemy like that. It's depending on the situation. But it's to be skilled in squad is not so much about the, the shooting accuracy or... Or the quick movements or reactions. It's it's way more about the, the thinking, the using cover, when to peek, when not to peek, and maneuvering. In the end, you're only as strong as, as your as your squad tactics are. And that's why this game is called Squad. I, I don't even think he got one. He tried to... No, he didn't. No, he did. He got one. He, bled, he moved for a while and then he bled out. But that could have also been the corpse moving. But now he's... No, he's alive. He's hiding. Oh, hand grenade. Lots of shrapnel. He's going to cover his position with smoke. I'm not sure that's a great idea. No, he's going to be cut down from behind there. Cool. Good try. Good try. He did do something to the, the numbers. Okay, so they're going to try this approach again. This didn't work previously, but uh, at least there's way more cover here on this side, this kind of downslope. Not as easily targeted by the bunker position back there, but uh, they're going to be facing uh, an issue from about, uh, about 150 degrees here, which is a pretty uh, big radius or an angle. So, well, we'll see how they do. This is the remaining four, the final four. Front, I'm behind him. Ooh. Hand grenades now would be superb. Oh man. 
guys are Anyone in the building? Sense. We got Digit here, taking the lead. Oh, I've got eyes on the, uh, yeah, oh. I've got eyes on the box. His head will be, ooh, 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 ooh. Nice spotted, nice good reactions. Yeah, Didn't get him, but he he's pulling yeah, back. Oh shit. Do not rush if you can get this shit. Okay, there's contact 165 and there's contact directly west. <laughs> yeah. From northwest Bandaging. to southeast, there's people. Oh, jeez. One guy's being sent around, though. I don't think this guy's anticipating it. He's reloading. Don't ever reload around the corner. Oh, he should have utilized that. I don't think he knew. He went down a little too quick, so that guy's going to get his reload in. Hand grenade's going to be thrown over the wall. They're going to trade grenades. One is going to land a lot better than the other, and that might be enough to kill him. Nope. Shrapnel didn't get him. But he went down to some AR fire, so he's down. Uh, squad leader down. Final soldier standing. It is no one else but Lord. And the rest is just uh, corpses. Oh, we got him. Nice, nice. He did get him. Right in time. He's just got, what, 14 more to deal with? 1, 2, 3... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And that could be the fob that they needed to take out. Uh, I suppose they had to find it. I think they suspected it being more in Neva upper or lower, but here they are. Uh, or, or actually, maybe it could be placed anywhere. I thought it said that the militia had to get to their fob and defend it, but um, they didn't have one it previously built, so maybe this was more of a capture and then defend kind of kind of scenario. Dude, he's going to be running into trouble now. He's, like, legitimately running into trouble. If I were him, I would wish I had a hand grenade because he could get, do some serious damage with a, with a frag in a situation like this. That's one down. Trust me. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing like firing too few bullets. He knows he's here. Oh, dude. Oh, ha, ha. and that is GG. Ugh. Nice try. Good game. Ding, 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 ding. Breaking news. Russia ground forces. Russian ground forces. Take out the attacking militia. Hope you guys enjoyed. I might try and stay awake another, what, like four hours, three hours? Just to record the NA side too, just so I'll get some more action. We'll find out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.